Hey guys, uh, it's Bill. Uh, my uh, uh, Tormach arrived, and I know some of you guys wanted to say that you wanted to take a quick pick, a uh, quick pick at it. Uh, let's try that again. A quick peek at it, and so uh, I figured I'd do this live um, thing right now. Um, there's a couple of things that I'm trying to um, get ready to do before you know I go any further. But we got the basic machine done and, and installed on its stand and I'm gonna see if I can turn around so you can get a, a peek at it but uh, this is the 1100 melon machine um, it's quite massive just to give you an idea of scale that's uh, that's my hand up against it so um, I think it's pretty big my, my totter Danielle's uh, Cave in his teddy bear and balloon uh, celebrate. She says, yeah, there you go. It's a boy. <laughs> so um, she suggested we have a naming contest if anybody wants to come up with a name for this thing. But uh, we'll see. Just, just a lot of fun. Um, so what am I going to use this thing for? Um, mainly I'm going to use it to make triple edge finders and, and a few other products that I had in mind. Um, things like that. I may even make a, a there's a, a particular type of CNC router that I wanted to make um, for myself personally that was um, spe specifically designed for one project that I have in mind and um, you know something that I wanted to do off and again and with this I'd be able to mill um, things uh, like I did when I built my um, uh, warp drive machine which is over there now covered with all sorts of stuff from the uh, construction and setup and the reorganization I got going on out here in the workshop um, if you could have seen this place before the crates started arriving and we moved everything around it, it was kind of nice uh, let's see who's uh, uh, Anton Messina just joined us hey Anton thank you uh, good uh, good to see you out there hope you're uh, doing well today um, you know, it, it's, it's just one of those things. It was, it was starting to have some sense of organization in here and, and now it, it's, uh, kind of back to chaos again. Um, so, you know, yeah, I got things piled everywhere. I still got, uh, a few pallets and, and crates and, uh, bags to get cleaned up and things like that. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of um, things that I have to get to, like installing the power draw bar on the machine, which will allow you to change the, the spindle, um, the holders, the pallet holders quicker, um, get the coolant all set up and everything. It's quite nice. They, these. Um, Machines have nice bases on them, like uh, comes with a, a coolant tank and pump in there and stuff and a little set of those, um, things. So there's a lot more things that I have to do. On the other side of the base is a spot for the um, computer that um, controls it all. and. There's some space underneath the front, some storage space. So that's kind of neat. Um, I figured some of you might want to see you know, maybe the insides of this thing. That has a uh, one and a half horsepower motor on it. And, uh, there's two separate speeds that you can use uh, that go from 250 RPM to 4,000, 140 or 100 to 2,000. Now some of this stuff is familiar to um, CNC people. Um, these are lead shine 
um, stepper motor drivers, digital drivers in there. They've got three of them for the three axes. Um, and it looks like there's room for a fourth right here. It's already drilled and tapped. Um, so if you wanted to run a four axis uh, machine, it would be a fairly simple thing to wire it in. Um, got a few fuses over here. Uh, I think these are contactors, but I haven't been able to figure that out yet. Uh, transformers, a couple of those. Up here you've got a, uh, a fuse bus for the fuses. And this is the main um, control board for the, um, the mill. This is a braking resistor for the variable frequency drive. And this is what controls the speed of the motor. Um, down here there's various connections, you know, um, instead of um, using this type of uh, wiring connector here, they have these, they're DIN rail mounted, there's a rail behind there and they just snap in place. Uh, if you've got some AC um, 110 lines coming here, and around the back of here, this uh, cable comes, this cable right here comes out and that's um, for the 220 line. So you need 220 electricity for this thing. So anyway, that's kind of a peek around um, what's in this machine so far. Uh, I've got a lot to learn. Uh, I will not be a Tormach expert for a while, but you know how that works. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, give you a kind of an idea of what I've been up to for the last couple of days. Um, first things first is to get that um, power drawbar on there so that I can mount the um, automatic tool changer which I have in a box um, over um, over here with um, some other things and another thing that I just found at, at uh, Home Depot is going to help me organize some more is they had these um, organizer trays and you get two of them for 10 bucks right now while they're in stock. So I figure I'll make a little shelf that holds a bunch of these and I'll go back and pick up a few more if, uh, if I can find them. But uh, Mitch uh, is one of the first, uh, Mitch in our group, Mitch L, uh, he goes by in, inside the group, um, is one of the guys that, um, uh, organizing with things like um, sortainers and um, um, other things so you know each little step makes the, the shop better organized um, hopefully you know before too long um, I'll be getting things in better order um, like I just recently uh, organizing my clamps over here um, and Over there, I've, I've hung some sawhorses and other things, but it's there's still a lot of stuff to be done. Um, you know, it's it's a progress. It's not, you know, it's a it's a it's a journey. It's 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 not uh, something that happens overnight. So I hope this was helpful um, to you guys. Um, I didn't really see anything. You can see my router table is buried right now. Um, but I hope to have that cleaned up by the end of the weekend. So that, that would be nice because I've got a couple of projects I've got to get done on that. Um, so hopefully things will go, go fast from this point on. I just wanted to let you guys know what I've been up to because, uh, I haven't been, um, very present in the group for the last two days, um, since this thing arrived, uh, while I was trying to get things squared away. So... I hope you all have a great weekend and uh, I'm looking forward to new adventures in uh, 2017 and um, I wish you the best of luck. So thanks for, uh, for watching this and um, please let me know in, in comments or, you know, like this video or whatever you want to do for any of that. I, you know, that all helps and um, I hope you enjoyed it. So I'll talk to you guys later.